Okie dokie, back to school shopping has already begun. Summer's almost over here in Canada, which really sucks, but hey, if you're a student, you're probably looking to get some supplies, perhaps reorganizing your desk setup just to prepare for a productive school year. And if you're shopping around for a laptop, well, I can imagine how difficult it could be since there are tons of options out there in the market. However, I do want to take this time to acknowledge a few things. Tech is getting really, really expensive. Part of that is due to inflation and the chip shortage that we're unfortunately facing at the moment. So finding good laptops that cost less than $1,000 is becoming harder and harder. They're out there, but uh, just like everything else, they're getting more and more expensive. The other thing I need to mention are a few little pointers for laptop shopping. Number one is to avoid laptops with eight gigabytes of RAM or less. Well, unless it's a Mac, but uh, more on that later. Also, 256 gigabytes of storage space probably won't be enough, especially not with a heavier operating system like Windows 11. Uh, I would also avoid laptops that ship with Windows 11 SE because third-party applications just aren't supported uh, and you lose a lot of features compared to Windows 11. Also, make sure to use resources like Camel, Camel, Camel to find good deals on Amazon. Uh, I've actually done a separate video covering what to look for in a laptop, so you can check it out right over here or leave a link down in the description. Anyways, with that out of the way, in order to make the cut for this video, these devices need to fulfill five criteria: Availability, price, portability, battery life, and performance, or bang for buck. The remaining are just bonuses or value add-ons that come with each laptop. By the way, links to all of these laptops will be down in the description, and I'm just gonna kick this off with the budget-friendly category that's less than $8,000 US. Our first pick is the Acer Swift 3. This is a similar version to the Swift X that we checked out not too long ago, but with a few exceptions. It only comes with integrated graphics and a 14-inch 16 by 9 Quad HD IPS display in a simple and minimalistic design. For $1,000, you get a 12th gen Core i7-1260p all the lake processor with 16 gigs of RAM and half a terabyte of storage. The port setup is also similar to the Swift X, which also includes Thunderbolt 4. So if you're building a desk setup with a docking station, a monitor, and other accessories, this can come in clutch. As for portability, the Zen height is only 0.63 inches or 16 millimeters, which is a little bit thinner than the Swift X, but that's due to the lack of a discrete GPU. Battery life should also be similar, if not better than the Swift X. So expect around 11 to 12 hours on a single charge. Next up, we have the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro. Now this one retails for around $850 right now. And the specs include a Ryzen 5 6600U CPU with six cores and 12 threads, 16 gigs of RAM, a terabyte of storage, and a 2.2K IPS touch display. I love the clean storm gray finish, guys. This whole chassis is made out of aluminum, so build quality is really good. The keyboard and trackpad inherit some of its DNA from the ThinkPad series. You also get a lot of ports, including full-size HDMI and a full-size SD card reader. Uh, and the Ryzen 5 CPU is a good balance of performance and efficiency, so expect really good battery life. We're talking up to 16 hours, which is awesome. As for size, it's only 0.63 inches thin, so it's similar to the Swift 3, and it weighs around 3.3 pounds, which is slightly heavier than the Swift, but that's due to the sturdier aluminum construction. Now, next up, we have something that's strictly geared towards performance for under $1,000. This is a great option if you're an engineering student or anyone who just would benefit from a discrete GPU. Meet the Acer Nitro 5, specifically the Best Buy exclusive variant. Now, for $850, you get a Core i5-12500H with 16 threads, 16 gigs of RAM, half terabyte of storage, and an RTX 3050 Ti GPU that's powering a 1080p 144 hertz IPS display. I will warn you that build quality is not the greatest since it's an all plastic construction that's also thicker coming in at 1.06 inches or 27 millimeters, and it weighs around 5.5 pounds. So it's definitely bulkier than the IdeaPad and the Swift 3. But the real deal for this price is the performance. If you're looking to get into gaming and don't wanna spend a ton of money, this is a great start since the frame rate that it puts out is very respectable. On top of that, you can take advantage of GPU acceleration for apps that you may use for your courses. Now, I do have some honorable mentions for this category. The first one is the HP Pavilion Aero 13. This, in my opinion, is still a rare gem for less than $1,000. Now, while it does sport a previous gen Ryzen 7 5800U CPU, the rest of the specs are just amazing and I'm actually pretty impressed in terms of what HP was able to cram inside such a slim form factor, which is about 0.62 inches. It's also super lightweight. It's got a 16 by 10 display that's also bright. You can't really go wrong with this machine, guys. The next laptop on my list is the Dell Inspiron 16 because it's got a massive 16 inch display, but be mindful that it's only a 250 nit panel, so not the brightest 
panels that you can find out there. Uh, the specs are pretty good for less than $1,000 uh, because you get a Core i7 CPU with 16 gigs of RAM and half a terabyte of storage. Oh, what a great day! Designed and miniaturized in Sweden, you can now nano and mini with the Meshify 2 and the Find 7 series. Wow! Everyone's been asking Fractal to complete the series for that iconic experience, just on a smaller package. Always capable in the right hands. Some might say these are cute. I say they're very classy. See you later! All right, so our next segment is mid-range. So this is a combination of thin and light devices and gaming laptops that are priced at less than $1,500 US. First up, we have the Microsoft Surface Pro 8. Now, if you recall my review of this tablet slash laptop, one of the things that stood out the most was its price. It was just way, way too expensive. But now because of the back to school season, Microsoft is actually offering bundles with huge discounts. And I found this spec with an i5 1135G7, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SSD. Now, yes, this is using Intel's previous gen Tiger Lake processor, but hear me out for a sec. For less than $1,500, you get the Pro 8, the type cover, and the slim pen that tucks right underneath the keyboard. And if you're a student, this combination is a game changer for note taking and digital artwork. I used the Surface Pro 2 during my university days and I absolutely loved the experience. You also get a fantastic 16 by 10 high resolution display that's bright and sporting 120 hertz. Plus the performance that these chips put out are really impressive due to the power that Microsoft has allocated to these chips along with longer battery life. Now, if storage is a concern, you can easily upgrade to a one terabyte SSD like this one over here. If you want to learn how to, check out my full review, which I'll leave a link down below in the description. Oh, and did I also mention that it's 0.57 inches thin? <sighs> that, my friends, is portability at its finest. Next up, we have Apple's new M2 MacBook Air. Now, it starts at $1,200, but I would actually avoid the base spec because of its poor SSD performance and upgrade to the 512 gig model. Now, this would be my ideal spec choice with the 10 core GPU for $1,500, which isn't cheap, but if you're a student, Apple is offering special $100 discounts on all Macs, so you can save some money there. Now, this laptop surprised me by a long shot, guys. The build quality is top notch, the display is beautiful and bright, you get a fantastic trackpad and keyboard along with MagSafe, and most importantly, the performance and battery life this thing offers puts a lot of Windows laptops in the market to shame. Like, seriously. In fact, I did a separate video comparing it to some of its competition, so be sure to check that out. Uh, I should also mention that it is passively cooled, meaning there are no fans. It's completely fanless. On top of that, Apple has managed to cram all this hardware into a chassis that's just 0.44 inches thin. That's the thinnest laptop that has ever got to the studio, so really, really impressive. Now, if you still think it's too much to spend on an Apple laptop, check out their refurbished section because you can actually find some awesome deals on last year's M1 MacBook Pro, which is still an excellent option. I found this one for around $1,300. Now, if you're looking for a MacBook Air equivalent Windows laptop, the new Dell XPS 13 is a stunning choice. For starters, it comes in two unique colors like sky blue and umber red, and they look really cool, guys. Even the interior space follows a color theme, which is something that you won't find on other Windows laptops. It's only 0.55 inches thin, and it weighs around 2.6 pounds, so this won't break your back hopping between classes. Uh, it's also got a stunning 16 by 10 1200p display. The specs include an i7-1250U processor with 16 gigs of RAM and half a terabyte of storage, and it costs around 1350 US dollars. Now, performance might not be its forte, but what you get here is a well-built machine with mediocre battery life. My only issue with it is the lack of a headphone jack. It only comes with two Thunderbolt Type-C ports, which is really, really limiting, especially if you plan to plug a lot of accessories to it. So please be aware of that. Next up, we have Lenovo's Legion 5. Now, this is the seventh generation product that's a complete upgrade compared to Gen 6. So the build quality is better, the keyboard and trackpad have improved by a slight amount, and the performance you get for the price is pretty amazing. Now, keep in mind that Lenovo has their laptops on sale pretty much all the time. And I found this one for $1,250 at the time of making this video. And that gets you a Ryzen 5 6600U CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, half a terabyte of storage, and an RTX 3060 powering a 1080p 165Hz IPS display. Now, Legion is well known for the amount of power that they supply to the CPU and GPU. So the 3060 inside this laptop is rated for up to 140 watts. And that translates to incredible gaming performance. The cooling system inside this laptop is also robust to keep things under control. It's also fairly portable. Z height is only 0.79 inches and it weighs around 5.3 pounds. You also get 
a lot of ports, most of them at the back for easier cable management. Plus, it comes in this clean and stealth design, which is my personal favorite. And for the price, you really can't go wrong with Legion 5, guys. Now, I do have some honorable mentions for this category as well. Uh, remember the Acer Swift 3 that I talked about earlier? Well, if you're looking for a little bit more power with a discrete graphics card, consider the Swift X with an RTX 3050 that goes for $1,200. Uh, the other bonus is that you also get a 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen and this unique Alga green finish. The other laptop that I want to bring up is the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. The top spec model goes for less than $1,500. But the biggest issue here is finding it in stock. I looked everywhere here in North America and I was out of luck. But if you do happen to find one, pull the trigger right away. Don't even second guess because it check marks everything that you're looking for as a student. I am back to say the Nano has this really clever fan shroud to direct the airflow directly into the main chamber, while the Mini is all about reviving that whole MicroTX form factor. So join the Nano Mini Club with the Meshify 2 and the Define 7 series. Explore all the case options down below. I'm out for real this time. All right, so now on to the mighty high-end category that's more than $1,500. This is probably where you'll need to come up with some good excuse to convince your parents to spend that kind of money. First up, we have the Lenovo Slim 7i Pro X. Now, this is a very sleek, thin and light laptop that packs respectable specs for around $1,600. So that includes a 12th Gen Core i7 12700H CPU, which is more powerful than the i7 1260p that were in some of the laptops that I discussed earlier. Um, it's also got 16 gigs of RAM, half a terabyte of storage, and an RTX 3050 graphics card. Perhaps the best feature about this laptop is its beautiful 3K IPS 120Hz touch display that's bright and color accurate. Uh, the build quality is also superb since it's an all aluminum construction. The keyboard and trackpad are similar to what you get on the ThinkPad series, which in my opinion is state-of-the-art hardware. Personally, this is something that I'd pick over something like the XPS 15 since it's much cheaper, offers similar performance, and comes with more ports, and it's smaller and thinner. Next up, we have the Asus Zephyrus ROG G14. Now, this one's priced a tad below $1,700, and that gets you a really powerful Ryzen 9 CPU with 16 cores, 16 gigs of RAM, a terabyte of storage, and a Radeon Arc 6700S GPU powering a quad HD 16 by 10 120 hertz display. Now, I was really impressed with the performance that this thing offers in a compact form factor that's only 0.73 inches thin, and it only weighs around 3.64 pounds. The battery life is also really good. The keyboard and trackpad are one of the best combinations that you can find for a Windows gaming laptop. So if you're looking for an all white and clean laptop with some jaw dropping performance, the G14 should be on the top of your list. The only thing to look out for is that there are some QC issues that people have been reporting. Plus, if you're looking to edit videos on this thing, the AMD combination just, it won't really benefit you. You're much better off with something uh, with an NVIDIA graphics card. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more performance in a sleek package, check out the Legion 5 Pro. Now, this is one of my favorite gaming laptops that is priced appropriately. For $1,800, you get a Ryzen 7 CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, a terabyte of storage, and an RTX 3070 GPU that's rated for 150 watts. And let me tell you, that makes it wicked fast. Not to mention, it has one of the best gaming displays that you can find uh, because it's bright, it has 165 hertz refresh rate, and it has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. The keyboard is nicely defined, and you get all of this in a clean, storm gray finish that blends in within any environment. It's essentially a Legion 5, but on steroids. Uh, now, the only thing to be aware of is its massive power adapter because the battery life is not the greatest considering the amount of power this thing draws. Okay, so last but not least, if you think about the best performance in a fairly thin form factor, the Razer Blade 15 is probably something that you'd consider. Heck, I would even too. But instead of spending over $3,000 on it, consider the ROG Zephyrus M16. Now, this laptop, in my opinion, is the best alternative to the Blade. Why? Well, it's over $1,000 cheaper while packing the same specs, but the best part is that Asus feeds more power into the components that matches, or in some cases, beats the blade. On top of that, you get a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display that's bright and covers a wider color gamut, a better keyboard and massive trackpad, and tons of ports, including full-size HDMI and Ethernet. It's slightly thicker than the Blade 15, but not by all that much, and it weighs about the same. So that pretty much concludes this roundup, guys. I hope this video simplifies your shopping process before classes begin. Now, if I've missed any laptops uh, in this video, feel free to chime in the comments down below. Let's have an open discussion and help each other out. And until next time, spend responsibly, my friends.